Looks pretty good. Looks like a normal back, huh? I wish I had you back. It looks pretty good to me, okay? William Burnley of Nelson County, Virginia, and Dr. Vincent Arlay, spine orthopedic surgeon at the University of Virginia Health System, have reason to celebrate. Burnley's back is perfectly straight after having corrective surgery for scoliosis, allowing him to return to taekwondo, but with better posture. Well, he was um, doing his martial arts one evening and his instructor told him to stand up straight. He told his instructor he was standing up straight. So after class, he told us we might have to take him to see a chiropractor. So we, that's when we brought him down here and they found out that he needed surgery. Arlay knew which surgical approach would be best for treating Burnley's spine thanks to a one-of-a-kind database he invented called ScoliSoft. ScoliSoft lets surgeons from all over the world share their cases, find other cases identical to the ones they are treating, and learn which surgical strategies give the best results. The extent of the surgery may vary. In some cases, the surgery uh, was not enough extensive, uh, and the surgery, uh, the correction was not enough. As a consequence, the correction is not good enough, and the patient is... Uh, remains with the imperfection of uh, result and the shoulders are not balanced. On the other hand, sometimes the opposite. It's the, the surgery uh, was uh, uh, too extensive and uh, you could have done less extensive surgery for the same curve. Obviously we want to do what's right for the patients. We don't want to do too extensive surgery and we don't want to do uh, not enough for the patients. ScoliSoft provides an added benefit for patients. They can see pictures and x-rays of spine curvatures just like theirs and learn just how straight they'll stand after surgery. So usually when the patients visit the clinic, um, they get examined first for their curvature. And once we have the x-rays, we, we measure the curvature, the degrees, and once I had that information, I go into the database and pull out the case that is exactly the type and curvature. And that is the case that I would show to the patients so they can understand what the condition is and what the procedure would be and what the outcomes would be. They say, wow, so that's what they do. They put rods and screws in the body and uh, and uh, when they see the out outcomes, they get an understanding of what they would look like. Because a lot of times, people come totally unaware. From the picture of the x-rays, I was really impressed. Uh, I think it's very helpful for the patient because they come with a specific problem and they don't care much of uh, seeing a patient who has scoliosis but that has different type of scoliosis with what they have. They want to see the same patient with the same problem and the same amount of curve, and what's the result. So uh, if you have a 80 degree curve, and if you, we show you a patient who has a 50 degree curve, you're not going to be very interested. You want to see the same patient with the same type of curve, the same level, and with the, surg the same surgery that you're going to have. There's more. ScoliSoft also lets surgeons like Arlay train tomorrow's spine surgeons and conduct research. These surgical residents discuss which types of surgery are needed for the spine curvatures they view and learn how much surgical material will be needed. I mean, we were surprised uh, just looking at our database and intuitively we thought that, that the, the more expensive and the more implants we're putting in the spine, the more screws, the more hooks we're putting in the spine, the better the outcome would be. And as a matter of fact, we realized, just looking very carefully at our x-rays and looking at our clinical photo, that was not always true. And in some cases, uh, when we were doing too much, we didn't have that as good an outcome that when we were just doing a middle of the road type of instrumentation. Most important, the Burnleys are just happy that their son's life has improved. He, uh, he was always complaining about his back hurting rubbing my back, rubbing my back is what he always said. And uh, now it's karate and flipping and flopping, flopping and the uh, dirt bike, we have to calm him down somehow. But other than that, he's, he is definitely straight up. I'm Abina Foreman reporting.